I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Um, there will be a drama club meeting this Wednesday, November 14th, um, at Ms. Rollerson's room on 2.30 p.m. Good morning, OHS. Wrestling tryouts start Monday, November the 12th. To try out, you must have a 2.0 and a physical completed on registermyathlete.com. All paperwork must be completed before you can try out. Practice starts Monday through Friday from 2.30 to 5 in the lunchroom. This is mandatory. You will need running shoes and workout gear. If you have any other questions, please contact Coach Janner in in the OHS gym. Have a good day. Many of you already know NHS has a backpack program where we feed the kids every single week from el every elementary school in the county. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the bags and what we put in them. So what we put in the bags are, the first thing we do is cans and you can, it can be Chef Boyardee, it can be any brand, but it's all gener generally the same size and they have to be a pull top so the kids can open them without any help from a parent or anything else. And then we also do little cans. Mainly Vienna sausages, again, doesn't matter what brand, and it has to be a pull top. So the next items are dry snacks, such as goldfish and little graham crackers, as well as fruit snacks. You can also bring these boxes of cereal or small juice boxes and fruit cups, applesauce, apple sauce. yeah, all that stuff. There will be a contest going on in your third hours for whoever brings in the most items will be winning a pizza party. So please support your NHS backpack program and help us end hunger in our community. Thank you. Good Tuesday morning, Okeechobee High School. Congratulations and thank you to the JROTC program that had a great day yesterday. Um, all the feedback I've, I've been getting and some of the pictures I've seen from every school. Um, you guys had a really good day out in the community um, honoring veterans and helping elementary students and middle school students understand about the honor and respect that goes into the day. Um, let me think. Okay, today we're gonna. Today is the National Day of Kindness. That's the one thing I brought in. So what I need you to do today is again, random acts of kindness are a great thing, and just being a kind person in general is the Brahmin way. So if somebody is kind and you want to recognize them, just shoot me an email. Um, teachers, you can shoot me emails of students that are just kind in general. Um, students, if you have friends that, that display kindness and is just that model of kindness, make sure I get their names because I want to kind of share it out and give me specifics about what's going on. Um, and I think that's what I'll, I'll, I'll wait till the end to finish with what I want to finish with. We're going to have a little rule reminder day today. Exciting. 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 Do you know what tomorrow is? I have no idea. Help me. No. Yeah. They better get those refrigerator magnets ready. For the progress uh, reports. Nice. Yes. Yeah, it's coming up. So, uh, <coughs> you know, students, one of two paths tonight. Either, you know, you need to prepare your, your parents either for the refrigerator space or, you know, how, how hard you're going to work the rest of the nine weeks to get those grades up where they need to be. So start having that conversation now rather than tomorrow with them. Good luck to, I think we have, do we have soccer tonight? Lost my day, yeah. Um, I think the boys are away today at Treasure Coast, so good luck to our varsity boys as they travel tonight. Miss Myers? Um, speaking of progress reports, teachers, don't forget to hold off on printing those progress reports until after school today so that those grades can be as updated as possible. Um, um, also, students who are interested in taking the SAT on December 1st, you still have the opportunity to register for that. I know the deadline has already passed um, for registration without a late fee. However, you can still register. I think they charge maybe a $28 late fee. Um, if you still want to register, that will remain open through next Tuesday. So we will not be in school next week, but you can take care of that this week if I and see Ms. Tabert or Ms. Coleman in the Career Center to get that accomplished. Good. Did you get a report from Girls Soccer last night? Yeah, but they told me not to share anything. Oh. They told me not to share. So ask a Girls Soccer player 
Um, they did not have a good night, so Mr. Swant told me not to share the soccer score, so we will not share the soccer score, but we know and they know my theory on that is just to get better every single day. So when you play South Fork again, which you will, you make sure you return the favor to them and show that you've improved over the course of the year, and that's all we're asking for. So we will not share the score. Okay, just a reminder, and I don't do this enough, and I probably should do this enough, um, just daily how we act on campus reminder. And, and, and somehow we've gotten a little off track, but it's just a small portion of our population, so we got to get them back on track. Um, if they want to stay on this campus all year. So teachers, just a reminder, when you're in class, you're going to have students that are going to refuse to work, and that is on them. Their grades are the consequence for them sitting there refusing to work. But what we are not going to tolerate, and what I am not going to tolerate, is a student that refuses to work and then disrupts others. That, that we're, we still have never gotten to the point where we're going to tolerate that. Um, we also are not going to tolerate a student that absolutely refuses to do what you ask them to do. So if they have their phone out and it's a time where you do not want them to have their phone out and they refuse to put it up, we're not tolerating that either. That's simple. Just call up to the office and have one of us come down and remove them because that's only going to happen a couple of times um, before the consequences are severe enough that they're going to have to make a serious choice whether they're going to just comply because no teacher is asking anybody to turn around, do cartwheels, jump off building six, nothing like that. Nobody's asking you to do anything that's gonna hurt you. They're asking you to do something so you can get something academic done. Because when you don't get something academic done, the parents are asking us why we're not educating you. But if you're not doing work and then you're refusing to do little simple things, well, that's a problem. Um, so we need to step it up a little bit. The expectations in every classroom are posted. So teachers, if you posted an expectation, carry through on that expectation. If you feel like you're having to say the same thing over and over and over to students and they're just absolutely not replying or not complying, um, then just shoot me shoot me the emails. I'll start having some one-on-one -on -one conversations if I need to. I kind of have a way of persuading um, students to either figure it out or we'll figure it out for them. So I know it's National Kindness Day. So students are all going to be kind today and they're going to comply. And they're just going to meet those, and again, I've, I haven't been in a classroom yet where the expectations are unreasonable. Um, so follow the expectations, be kind to others, and report acts of kindness throughout this whole week. I mean, we're leading into Thanksgiving, so what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for every student on this campus. Sometimes you drive me crazy. Individually, sometimes you drive me crazy, and sometimes as a group you drive me crazy. But that's all right, because I deserve to be driven crazy sometimes, because I drive others crazy sometimes, like probably now where I'm just going to shut up. So have a great day. Be Brahmins and move forward today and the rest of the week.